Hi, this is Eric with mobilemusthave.com and liveinlight.net, and today we're going to show you the new Pepwave Transit Pro E mobile router. All right, so let's get started by getting everything out of the box and showing you what's included. So the Transit Pro E is new for the tail end of 2021. It was actually released pretty much December of 2021, and we are shipping this product right now. The Transit Pro E is very closely based on the Transit Duo, which was its predecessor. Uh, to give you some examples, here's a Transit Duo actually right here, and you can see that they are virtually identical, sharing the same uh, chassis form factor, and they are pretty much identical in size, but there are a few key differences. Before we talk about the differences, let's talk about the similarities. So this is a dual CAT12 mobile router. This is very popular. We're actually releasing this in our new Ultimate Road Warrior LE bundle as the Transit Duo is being phased out as they no longer have the components to manufacture it. Uh, flipping this around, it's identical to the Transit Duo from an antenna and a hookup perspective on the back here. So we have our, uh, our dual MIMO antenna ports here for modem one, our dual MIMO antenna ports here for modem two, and then our dual Wi-Fi ports here for our local Wi-Fi 5, which supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi with the 2x2 two two MIMO technology. And then lastly here in the center, we've got our GPS port um, for location fleet tracking. Below that, we've got our four SIM slots, identical as what we saw in the Transit Duo. So that gives us the ability to, to have two SIM cards in both modem one and modem two. The Transit Pro E accepts full size SIM cards or two FF SIM cards. Uh, there are four slots. And we mentioned that it accepts full size because some of the new BR1 Pro uh, chassis are starting to come out with the nano SIM technology. Now, because this is a dual modem device, just like with the Transit, Duo, we do have the ability to utilize Speed Fusion Cloud or Speed Fusion SD WAN bonding, which allows us to combine the um, cellular connections from modem one and modem two into one single bonded connection using the technology included in this modem. This is a prime care modem, meaning that it does come included with the Speed Fusion licensing for one year, and then you can uh, extend it beyond there. Uh, with that Speed Fusion, licensing, you get one terabyte of data on the Speed Fusion Cloud, and you can renew an additional terabyte of data uh, for $40, I believe. The prices change a little bit, but it's pretty reasonable, and it doesn't require you to renew it every month. It can just be renewed as you utilize the data, which is a nice feature. Flipping the modem around to the other side, there are a couple new features and differences with the Transit Pro E versus the Transit Duo predecessor. Uh, the, the, the biggest changes that we see in this modem are that it now has four Ethernet ports. That's one assignable WAN that can be assigned to a LAN and three additional LAN ports. Uh, the transit, as you can see here, was limited just to one WAN and one LAN. The WAN was assignable. So you're getting two additional Ethernet ports, which is a nice touch. Now, this modem, just like the Duo, has an included Wi-Fi controller, which can control external access points. And while that's a really nice feature, the challenge with the Duo predecessor to this was that it didn't have power over Ethernet or the ability to power an external access point. So you needed to run power to that access point, either with a PoE injector or, um, or with a 12-volt um, power supply. So they've added PoE support to the Transit Pro E, which is a nice touch. Status light wise on the front, just giving you a quick overview. You've got your standard status, cellular one and cellular two lights on the front. Typically what you'll see is a status light will be solid green, meaning the modem is on and operational. If you see it red, it's typically because it's booting up. And then your cellular lights, they will either be off if the modems are disabled or they will be blinking green if they're trying to connect or they will be solid green if they are connected to the cellular network. So that gives you a lot of kind of instant visibility on the device. Looking closely here at the front of the modem, we see that we have our PoE ready light. Now, if you utilize the included 
AC adapter here that comes with the modem, uh, that light will light solid red. And solid red means that PoE is disabled. Now that's because the included power adapter is a 12 volt power adapter that comes with this modem. And in order to enable the PoE functionality, you need to input 56 volts to this modem. To enable PoE, there's a couple choices. You can utilize Peplink's PoE uh, 56 volt uh, power brick, but it's, it's pretty big and it's designed to run on AC power. So this is for 110, 120 volt installation applications. Um, exclusive to mobilemusthave.com, we have this little guy, which is sold separately and available at checkout, and this is a DC converter. What this essentially will do is if you take these two wires here and run 12 volts to your house batteries, these two wires will then output the 56 volts, which will enable the PoE output on this modem. What a lot of folks do is they take our included fused DC power adapter that we sell and we have this exclusively with the four pin Molex connector we'll get into in a minute and they pair that with the DC up converter by wiring these together. So these two would go to your house batteries on a fuse and then these would go out to the modem and having that second fuse in line is possibly redundant, but good for good measure, just so you have an extra added fuse on both sides of the circuit. In terms of your power inputs on the front of this device, they've moved over to this four pin Molex connector here for your input, which is included on that 12 volt AC adapter. And that's also what is included in our DC direct wire optional kit that's available at checkout. Uh, the direct wire uh, port is still available on the Transit Pro E, which we love, so you can direct wire in. However, they've made some changes to it. It is still removable, so you can pull that plug out. Uh, a lot of folks don't know that's removable, but if you want to take the modem out of your, um, your rig and leave it hardwired and direct wired in and then just travel with your AC adapter, you can without having to mess with the wires. That's the same on, on the Transit uh, Duo or the Pro E. What they have changed, however, is they've removed the screw down terminals at the top here. So there's no longer something that you have to screw down and they've made this a spring loaded connection. I'll admit I was a bit tricked by this first couple times. I tried to figure out how to use it. So uh, just as a quick sneak peek, if you have a small eyeglass screwdriver and you go into the upper top edge of this plug, it will insert and that releases down the opening at the bottom here so that you can put your bare wire in. Once the wire is in, you simply pull it out and it will lock the wire in place. In terms of what connections you have here, you've got your standard VCC, which is your DC positive input, your GR, GND for ground, so that's your negative. Then you've got a transmission, receive, RTS, and CTS for machine-to-machine -machine communication, if that's something you're, uh, you're in need of. And last, you've got your reset button here, your paperclip reset if you ever need to factory reset the device if you forget your password or you just want to get back to factory default settings. A quick note on this device, when you enable PoE, you'll be enabling PoE on port one of this device. Uh, it's not going to provide PoE to the additional ports. So just keep in mind that you're going to be able to power one access point or security camera or other PoE device with this unit. If you need additional PoE ports, we have a five port and an eight port PoE option available at mobilemusthave.com if you search on our store. Um, not for the modems, but for a, a five or eight port PoE switch. Doing a quick overview of what's in the box. It's uh, pretty standard. You've got your complement of seven antennas here. Uh, four cellular antennas, two Wi-Fi antennas, and the GPS antenna. Uh, you know, just because some people do get confused, I will mention that the uh, cellular antennas are SMA connectors, meaning that the antenna has a center pin, and the Wi-Fi connectors are RP SMA, meaning that the center pin is located on the modem itself, not on the antenna. So if you look at these and you're like, these antennas don't fit, they do. You just have to make sure you connect the Wi-Fi and the cellular to the appropriate connections and just line up those center pins and everything will connect as designed. Included also in the box is your standard uh, mounting ears. These can be a little confusing for folks because they include two mounting ears, but there are holes for you to mount these ears either on the front or back of the unit. Uh, a lot of folks will mount one on the front, one on the back, or 
what most people don't know is you can actually just remove these two ground screws in the middle and then you can mount these right in the center for a very balanced mounting application. You do not need to ground this to a specific, you know, ground uh, to your chassis. You can if you want to, but it's really not typically recommended for low voltage uh, applications in a DC vehicle environment. So if you just go ahead and get your power connections here for 12 volt power and ground, you should be fine. In terms of specifications, this modem is virtually identical to the Transit Duo from a processor and memory perspective. Uh, it's, it's for the most part an identical unit. Um, so we're talking about a 400 megabits max router throughput. Each of the category 12 modems do have a 600 megabit uh, max download throughput, but then everything has to channel through the router, which has a 400 megabit max throughput. And that's all on the download side of things. Uh, upload will be a bit slower, but typically that's more than enough and beyond what you'll be seeing from the cellular providers at this point. As with all prime care modems, you do get your one year of in-control cloud management included, as well as I said before, the Speed Fusion SD-WAN bonding license included in this device. For those of you who don't know, in-control gives you the ability to look at the status of this modem and remote into the management console to administer the device when you're away from the modem itself. It's pretty cool cloud-based router management console technology from Peplink. The Transit Pro E is what I am currently running inside of my RV at the time of filming of this video. We had the Transit Duo, uh, which has been our mainstay for quite a few years now. And the reason why we decided to go with the Pro E was because of those additional ethernet ports and the ability to do PoE. Uh, since we had this mounted up in the front of our RV, that meant that I could actually uplink to our Vega touch system, which controls our TV, which meant there was already an ethernet cable behind the TV and utilize one of these ports and then use the second port to go to an access point inside the coach. If you'd like to know more about this modem, consider checking out the gear guide specifically related to the transit series that's available at rvmobileinternet.com, which is the Mobile Internet Resource Center. The Mobile Internet Resource Center is a member funded community that provides independent analysis on all things uh, mobile internet. So that's definitely a great place to check this out. We've got a unit uh, that's being sent over to them for testing. So they will be doing more in-depth analysis and testing uh, over time. If you're interested in joining the Mobile Internet Resource Center, you can also receive a significant discount on purchases such as this at mobilemusthave.com. If you wanna learn more about the memberships and the benefits associated with them, just go over to mobilemusthave.com and click on the membership tab. Our memberships include membership to the Mobile Internet Resource Center in various levels, depending on which membership level you pick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can go over to mobilemusthave.com and fire up a chat, or you can email us at info at mobilemusthave.com, and we'll see you on the road.